What's going on guys, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be testing out GeForce Now and Stadia on the world's smallest 4K mini PC, the Chewy Lark Box. Done a few videos on it, I'll leave a link to a playlist in the description, but I've had a lot of viewers asking me to test out cloud gaming, so that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. As you can see, we have the Intel J4115 CPU. It's a quad-core CPU at 1.8 with a burst up to 2.3. We also have 6 gigabytes of LPDDR4 running at 2,133 megahertz. And we're going to be running this all over Wi-Fi because the Lark box does not have an Ethernet port built in. You could always use a USB adapter if you want to, but I'm going to do this wirelessly. Now with cloud gaming, I personally prefer being plugged in through Ethernet, but we're going to see how it performs here. So first up, we have Google Stadia. I'm going to be using an Xbox One controller. And I do have the Xbox overlay going on just so we can see the CPU usage. I will zoom in a little bit, but I wanted to give you a look at this Lark box. No Ethernet's plugged in. I don't have any adapters. We're running over a 5 gigahertz network in my house. And I do have the resolution set at 4K. This is a 4K BenQ monitor, so this game here should be running at 4K with HDR. Hopefully it works out good over Wi-Fi. I know Ethernet would be much better. But we're going to get right into it. I'm going to test one game by recording the screen here at 4K, and then we're going to swap over to my game capture. Unfortunately, my game capture only captures at 1080p, so that's what we'll be seeing with the next games. So I just kind of started a new game here with Stadia, and so far everything's been working really well. Haven't noticed any stutters, but I do have a pretty decent internet connection in my house, and like I mentioned, I am running over a 5 gigahertz network. So one thing I have noticed about the CPU usage with this small PC is it's much higher with Stadia versus GeForce Now. And we will get into some GeForce Now, but I want to test two more games with Stadia just to make sure everything's functioning properly. And overall, I mean, as long as you have a decent internet connection, you really shouldn't have any issue with cloud gaming on a device like this. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of get away from this monitor here. I'm going to plug in my game capture device to the Lark box. We're going to be running at 1080p because I can't capture in 4K, but it should work really well. I mean, it should work better than 4K here. And with 4K, I haven't had any issues. Next up, we have Grid, still on Google Stadia, running at 1080p. And switching from 4K to 1080p won't really affect your hardware at all because we're streaming from their servers, but you will need a pretty good internet connection to do 4K stably. And I definitely wanted to get into this fast-paced game because it would be really noticeable if there's any stutters. And so far, it's looking really good. Next up, we have PUBG, and I did run into a few stuttering issues with this, and it really all comes down to my internet connection. Like I mentioned, I'm using the built-in Wi-Fi for the Lark box, and I had a few hiccups here and there. So I'm going to take him out, I'll knock him down, and then when I get up to him, you'll notice exactly what I'm talking about. And this was actually the only game I noticed it in, but I will admit I retested this game a couple more times, and I was still experiencing the same issue. And just keep an eye out for it. I mean, you can't really miss it. I'm going to open up this box here. And it kind of went all over the place. And it really comes down to the connection I have. But overall, for a majority of the stuff I tested with Stadia, the Lark box is perfectly capable. Moving over to GeForce Now with Dauntless, if we take a look at that CPU usage, it's a lot lower with GeForce Now. And just a quick side note, if you press Control alt f 6 you will get a little readout in the top left-hand corner. It'll give you some information about what frame rate you're running this at. 
we're at 60 here, and what GPU is being used on their server side. So this one here is a 1080, but I do have a membership to GeForce now, so if I run any games that really support RTX, it usually defaults to a 2080. And just for reference, I am at Ultra Settings with 100% resolution scaling. Here we have Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Ultra Settings, performances outstanding with GeForce now in the Lark box. And finally, we have Metro Exodus. I went into the settings, made sure we're at Ultra, and I have RTX set to high. We've defaulted to the 2080. Performance is great. I'm really impressed with this, and I've tested this on lower-end hardware. GeForce Now just works amazingly. So for those who wanted to know, the Chewy Lark Box can definitely handle cloud gaming, even if it's just over Wi-Fi. Personally, I would like to game over Ethernet, and you can use a USB adapter, but if you're just sticking with Wi-Fi on the Lark Box, it's still going to work great. But that's pretty much it for this video. I really appreciate you watching. I have made a few other videos on the Lark Box. Definitely check those out. Link for the playlist is in the description. If there's anything else you want to see running on this mini PC, just let me know in the comments below. And like always... Thanks for watching.